dude what the fuck is that game it's like hero it's a hero shooter i think bleeding edge yeah there i think that's what knockout city reminds it reminds me a little bit of, of bleeding edge which i don't i don't even know what happened to bleeding edge it peaked at 20 at four players oh god <laughs> No one's playing this game. <laughs> so um, I don't know what happened to Bleeding Edge. Because apparently, according to this guy, it Will looks like they were they were still updated review for this game. updating the game. To Ninja Theory's credit, there were decent updates and changes to Bleeding Edge for the first few months of the game. Yeah, first the few months. The two month. fighters added since launch were Mecco. However, Bleeding Edge never got any major updates after Azrael was added to the game which was at the end of July 2020. Articles end of July. Podcast. So before July, it looked like they were still updating the game regularly. <laughs> but at July, they only had like 23 players by July. June, they had 25. Average. This is the average. So I feel like this, I think I feel like something happened within the first two months of the game. Like, what the hell happened to Bleeding Edge? I don't know if he's going to answer the question, though. Microsoft have abandoned Bleeding Edge. That it launched at the worst possible moment last year. It was released Which was? after Ori and the Will of the Wisp, Doom Eternal, Animal Crossing, New Horizons, oh. <laughs> and about two weeks before the release <laughs> that's of why. Final Fantasy VII Remake. <laughs> oh, All of those games generally had mostly positive reception. Dude, yeah, that Edge fucking sucks. And tepid. That kind Bro. of reception doesn't do a game of that size any favors. There was never a moment I had in Bleeding Edge during the time that I put into the game that felt satisfying to me. Win uh, or loss. If I guess it just wasn't, wasn't the fun to play a game. Who would go it just looks interesting. Style, Maybe it just looks interesting for people who haven't played it. Likely that the 4 out of 5 I originally scored the game no longer holds, and Bleeding Edge now sits at a 3 out of 5. I guess it's a mediocre game. I feel, oh yeah, I guess it is. I feel like, because it, yeah, okay, I understand why the, it didn't get a lot of people playing the game. Because on release, um, on Steam, I don't like these ads. God damn. Because on release, March 2020, there were only 480 people. I guess, yeah, it was, it, it, it might have been because <laughs> I didn't de doom. Doom Eternal, um, Animal Crossing, and then other games. Ori, Ori, was all released in March. That was look. Look what happened after a month. That's a lot more than half of the average player base gone after a month. I guess it really just it it really just isn't a fun game. There were actually so many new games that died after a few months. Ro what? It's Rocket Arena. Rocket or Arena. I don't, I've, I've, I've never heard of this game. Oh, it looks like it's it's a, it's another team-based shooter. <laughs> I feel like. Isn't is that what Rocket Arena is? Um It's a 3v3 shooter. Yeah, it's it's it It's a team-based shooter. Maybe they should stop making team-based games. <laughs> Well, I think but that's like I say you can have a lot of reaction to team based games. A lot of people are interested in team based in team based games. But it's just for some reason they just they just don't succeed if it's not a triple A game. I think there's the win I think it is the win system is like smash, you don't do damage and knock someone out of the map. Uh the weapons and the rockets will basically increase the meter on your opponent much like a percentage in smash brothers to the point where oh yeah that that actually just that's just <laughs> the arena and they then respawn. so as you can begin to see it's basically smash brothers with guns even fewer people were playing this game all 200 people played it on release the only games that succeed that are team based are from big studios uh maybe indies and team based multiplayer games competitive multiplayer games are just not meant for each other i wonder what it is no? i wonder what's wrong with team based and small studios i don't think it's a coincidence maybe just be like riot first yeah just be a big studio 
then make a team based game or maybe because it's 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 just that there's so many there are so many team based competitive games that the smaller studios just don't get to have their games shine if you don't get a huge player base because on launch it'll just go downhill from there we we'll end up having long queue times which in turn make the oh yeah that makes sense yeah that would make sense because if you look at uh this is a game that my friends and i love to play guns of icarus look look how small the player base is there's like a big spike in make i think this is because of the steam sale we had a steam sale and then so many people started playing it and then it had like quite a few people playing for a couple of months and then it, it, it started dying down and then i think this is every time there's like a sale people start buying us because guns of icarus let me tell you have if you haven't played the game it's a very fun game it's a very interesting it's a it's a team based competitive game you are a crew in a ship that floats yeah here you have different airships and then you fight against other people's airships i think you can have like five to six airships that means five to six teams in a map so um and then you have different classes right you have an engineer which your goal is to um fix stuff and then you have people who upgrade the guns the cannons on the ship and then you have pilots so you have different um rules and then you can have like i think four to five people in a, in a singular airship this this game is so fucking fun this is i don't know if you call it a hidden gem i don't know if it's hidden at this point with this many people is it hidden this game is so fucking fun but because not fewer and fewer people were playing it it's not that big of a game you don't always get to play it if you try to match make online which would cause the game to have less and less people playing it it's just that yeah it's really fun though so what and you guys said makes sense if you're if you don't have a big player base and you're a competitive game it's much faster it's much easier for your game to fail because that's what your because your game relies on a lot of people playing it that's why i guess it makes more sense if you're an indie studio or small studio if you don't make a game that is heavily reliant on having a big player base so single players or co-op could be okay just not competitive games because you have to yeah you need lots of a lot of, of money a big budget to get more people playing it so sad